Hey, what's going on, my fellow miners? Uh, this is Chaos Mining. Uh, thought about changing my name from Chaos Productions to Chaos Mining since we're about mining, and I go by Chaos. So anyways, we're back at it. Uh, sorry it's been over around seven months uh, since I've made my last video, which is this one. Uh, I do apologize. Uh, it's been an up and down road since then, especially with mining, and I know my fellow miners out there know what I'm talking about if you're still in it. So uh, I want to go back. I saw this question come up on my comments today. It says, on the newer OS version, where do I find the download button? I run a GPU AMD RX 580 rig and I only can see the upload vBIOS. So this was the old version of Hive. Uh, Hive OS has come a long way and they're doing amazing. Um, I remember it was SMOS at first and everyone was talking about it. Get on SMOS, it's the way to go. Um, I was on Hive. I thought Hive was easy and it was able to um, flash your BIOS pretty easily on their site. So um, we're going to go back and uh, go ahead and log in to your Hive. And this is what you get. Um, I believe it looks like this when you first log in. Um, I am down to two rigs. I was on three. Um, this is the new look here. Uh, I like it a lot better. It's cleaner. Um, it just looks better. It looks like it's fresh and it's it's new, um, especially all right here. Uh, it, everything is is updated. It's changed compared to this old one that you see here. So new, old. So um, anyways, you'll see that I'm mining energy. Uh, I'm a speculative mining right now, and uh, I was mining some Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, and all those major coins. Uh, I decided just to do some speculative. Uh, might as well use my rigs and um, use it for different projects. So energy right here, this is what I'm mining. Um, it's not financial advice, but this is what I'm mining. Uh, right now, it looks like it actually jumped up to 82 cents, 23 uh, percent, which it was up. It was just at 67 cents. So, um, like I said, I'm, I'm mine. I'm not even selling it. I'm gonna try to. I have a goal that I want to get to, and once I get there, and then I'll stop and probably switch to something else. Um, might not be the smartest way, but hey, uh, we're all gotta do something to try to stay profitable. Anyways, so the question to go back goes to on the newer OS version, where I find the download button. So what you want to do is you want to go actually go to your main page here. You want to go to overclocking. And first you want to download the vBIOS. Uh, let's say we want to do uh, zero, uh, number zero or I don't want to say a number zero, but GPU zero. Uh, remember, it starts with zero and not with one. So if you're going to use zero, then do down, uh, download zero. So once that downloads, you want to pull up your uh, Polaris editor, which I'm going to pull up here. Uh, excuse my stuff here. Here we go. Okay, so I have this set up. Let's see if it's done yet. It is. So I like to set up folders when you download it. So when you click that, it'll automatically want to download the BIOS. Uh, I created this folder here, RX580, and I've made two subfolders inside that main folder, uh, stock and mod. You want to put the stock BIOS on this one just to stay organized. So that's downloaded. I always like to clear my little task right here and let's open up Polaris. You want to open BIOS. You want to go to stock and then you want to click on the BIOS that has not been completed yet or BIOS modded. So open it up. We're going to one click time and patch. You're going to get your memory that it finds and then it's going to do the clocks and uh, mining timings. I'm sorry. Hit OK. You're going to hit save as. You're going to go back to this mod folder. And then you're going to save it. Uh, let's do GPU 0 um, RX 580 uh, mod. And then you're going to put .rom. Oops, excuse me. And hit save. Um, it's pretty important that you put that .rom. I believe it does it, your, does it automatically, but you might as well just do it just in case. Uh, once you do that, you want to flash your BIOS. So you're going to choose your folder. And then make sure you're mod it. There it is. You're going to open. You're going to select zero, which is the one we downloaded first. And then we're going to upload. 
Now I'm not going to hit upload because I've already done this before and I don't want to redo it and mess something up if it does. Um, I've never used the all. I, I've always just done one by one, just like my first video. Um, if you know everything is the same and you know all the memories the same and you trust yourself, then you can hit all. But I just go individually and it just take my time at it. Like I said, you do the one you downloaded, which is zero. Upload. Once you upload, you're gonna get another task um, that it's that it's uh, actually uploading your BIOS to that to that card. Once it's done, it'll it'll show completed or a green. It'll be green. Once you do that, you're gonna come to this power button, and you're gonna reboot. Uh, once you reboot, and it comes back on. Your BIOS will be flashed, and then you can add your time your um, actual overclocks. Um, this is what I actually have right now. Um, they're all the same. They're they're a little bit back. Um, they can go a little higher, but these Azrocks right here do not like to be overclocked, and they don't like to heat at all. I mean, what graphics card does, but they really don't like to heat, and they really don't like to get overclocked. Um, compared to my Sapphires, these are still running really cool, and um, I mean, these are still good, but compared to those, they're running really well. Um, anyways, like I said, uh, it's been up and down on mining, but I'm still in it. I'm down to two rigs, and I'm just going to keep it there. I don't think I'm going to expand anymore. Um, I know there's others out there with uh, the Giga Hash, and I'm just cool with my, I believe it's around 300. So um, I'll be coming out with some more videos and kind of showing you all through the things. Um, I want to go through a VPN together. Um, I want to do some uh, remote access. I know I saw some comments earlier about VNC. The only thing on my VNC is I can't use VNC because I'm not at the same location of my miners. My miners are at a um, off-site place in a shed um, mining its way. Anyways, I appreciate you taking the time to uh, watch this video. Um, I wish luck to everybody on mining. And if you have any questions, comment below. Thanks.